It's a major milestone for India's moon mission Chandrayaan-3. The spacecraft has now inched one step closer to the moon's surface after another maneuver completed successfully and the lander to separate from mothership today. So this is going to be an important step before the soft landing on the lunar surface. Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft is set for a scheduled moon landing on 23rd of August, aiming to become the fourth nation only to achieve this milestone after United States of America, Russia and China. Vikram lander and propulsion modules to separate from Chandrayaan-3. Vikram lander will begin its uh, own lunar voyage then for further data. Now, Vikram lander, remember, named after Vikram Sarabhai, of course, the father of Indian space program and designed to function for 14 days, will also engage in exploring the south pole of the lunar surface. Uh, the Pragyan Rover 6 wheeled vehicle, which has instruments configured with the payload, will roll out to conduct experiments on the moon's surface for 14 days. So the next one week will be very crucial for our space mission. This is what our scientists have worked for for many, many months. The heartening piece of news that I wish to share is that the Chandrayaan-3 has finally completed its last lunar maneuver. It's entered into an orbit of 143 kilometers by 153 kilometers. And uh, now the next important milestone would be the coming out of the lander module from the propulsion module, which we expect to happen on the 17th of August, following which then the location of the landing would be determined, the exact location somewhere close to the South Pole, which we expect to happen, the exact landing on the 23rd of August, around 5.30 p.m. in the evening. The lander will have its own first initial checkups uh, because um, the many systems, have, as of no proper system has taken that, but the four thrusters, main thrusters, which uh, will enable uh, the lander to have a smooth and soft landing, secured landing on the lunar surface, that need to be tested. And other sensors, I uh, think also, to some extent, have been tested uh, all along. But now the major thing is the thruster needs to be uh, tested. And then it will, it will take its own course uh, to go for the uh, near 100 to 30 kilometer orbit. So let's get you an expert perspective as well. India Today spoke to Dr. Amitabh Ghosh, who is a space scientist working on NASA Mars mission since 1997. Listen into this exclusive conversation with my colleague Akshita Nandagopal. As we count down to the soft landing on the moon by Chandrayaan-3, we've been getting you a number of experts' voices. And here on India Today, it's my pleasure to be joined by NASA scientist who's also a part of the Mars rover mission, Dr. Amitabha Ghosh. Dr. Ghosh, thank you very much for taking the time out and joining us here on India Today. Here in India, we've all got our fingers crossed, sir, for Chandrayaan-3's safe, soft landing on the moon. Uh, it is hugely challenging, and it's going to be a historic mission for India and one I'm sure that the world is also watching out for. But as someone, sir, who tracks uh, you know, space journeys so closely, you know the technicality of what's involved in a soft landing on the moon. How challenging really is this mission? Well, it is a very challenging. Soft landing is very difficult. See, in, for the Mars missions, we call it seven minutes of terror. Um, the battle here is... Um, uh, you have to slow the spacecraft down from a very high velocity to something where um, it can survive, the delicate electronics can survive the landing. Mm. So for the Apollo mission, I think it was like, uh, rain, the velocity was a few feet per second. So here, that is the challenge. Imagine you're dropping a suitcase from a building and then it has, when it touches the ground, if it's above a certain velocity, all the camera inside that suitcase will break. So, so it's a very challenging thing. And you know, this is, um, are done mostly it's an automated thing you can have a response system but you cannot manually change a lot of parameters uh, during the descent if something was off so mm. so it is reasonably ch challenging so so of course it, it is it's a hard thing to do uh, I'm sure you saw what happened with Chandrayaan 2, uh, which is that it very successfully reached to the moon, which is why we don't really call it a failure here. It was partially a success, partially a failure, because only the soft landing, Dr. Ghosh, wasn't accomplished. Right. Do you believe that, you know, whatever right. went wrong there has been fixed in this particular case in Chandrayaan 3? It's very difficult to see that. Um, see, see, here the game is, you know, if you're 99% successful and one percent not successful you know you didn't you don't get the data right so it, mm -hmm. it kind of has to be 100 percent successful so whether the problems have been fixed you know it is like if your car was not working and you took it to the garage and um 
you you hope that the problems are addressed sure. and it's a little more difficult than the garage because you are into this unknown parameter set hmm. so you don't know a lot of parameters right so it is your so the reason these spacecraft missions are so hard that you have to make a very judicious choice of parameters and then if it was outside that envelope you have to mo- have an automated system which corrects and uh, and still keeps the spacecraft safe so i would assume that things have been taken care of but there is no way to 100% know and particularly being outside the mission team right 